Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 9.55 in the Sadiku book. So the question is find Z. Z is the impedance of this part here. In the figure, given that V0, V0 is for angle 0 degrees. So we will have V0. That will be for angle 0 degrees. Well, Okay, actually to find V0, we can find it using uh, using voltage divider, right? But then the voltage divider is relative to this node here. Let's name this as node A and this ground here. So to calculate V0, we can actually do J8 divided by J8 plus Z. And that will be multiplied by VA. And all of that will equal to V0. Okay. Now we know that V0 is for angle 0 degrees. We, can, we need to solve this for VA. That's the point that I want to make. So VA will be V0 multiplied by cross multiplying this I will have J8 plus Z divided by J8 okay we will get VA that will be for angle 0 degrees that will equal to J8 not equal multiplied multiplied by J8 plus Z divided by J8. Okay, to simplify things, for angle 0 degrees is just 4, actually. And we can uh, cancel this into 2. So we can get VA is equal to J8 plus Z divided by J2. Okay, that is VA. Why this is important? Because we can then use KCL at node A by assuming the current here and there, right? So now let's do KCL at node A. KCL at node A and the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. What is the current that goes in? It is this one here. And we can calculate that by using 20 angle of minus 90 degrees minus VA minus VA divided by 12. And then this current here, that will be VA divided by minus j4 and then this current here that will be plus va divided by z plus j8 or j8 plus z j8 plus z okay so now Let's separate this. I have 20 angle of minus 90 degrees divided by 12. And this one will be minus VA over 12, but I want to move it to the right hand side. So I will have VA divided by 12 minus VA divided by J4 and then plus VA divided by J8 plus Z. Okay, now what can we do from here? Okay, just factor out the VA minus T degrees divided by 12. And this will be VA and that will be 1 over 12. 
and then what can it be minus p a minus j four one over j four sorry one over j four and then plus one over j a plus v okay oh things get very very complicated from here we'll get 20 angle of minus 90 degrees divided by 12 and that will be va let's plug that in j8 plus z divided by j2 and i will need this to be 1 over 12 minus 1 over j4 and then plus 1 over j8 plus z okay let's move out this j2 to the left hand side so i will have j2 multiplied by 20 angle minus 90 degrees divided by 12 and that will equal to j8 plus z here and for this one i will need this to be 1 over 12 minus 1 over j4 and then plus 1 over j8 plus z okay things get nasty from here but we need to keep going so we distribute this inside the inside the brackets here but first maybe let's cancel this out first this can be six so on the left hand side we can get j multiplied by 20 angle minus 90 degrees divided by six and that will equal to j8 plus z divided by 12 minus j8 plus z divided by j4 and then this j8 plus z will cancel out into this one that will be plus one this is what i need to isolate in the left hand side so we will get minus 1 plus j 20 and then this will be minus 90 degrees divided by 6 okay maybe let's get this thing simplified so i'll have j 8 divided by 12 plus z over 12 Okay, and then minus, we will have j8 here, divided by j4, and I will have minus z, divided by j4. Okay, let's cancel, which can be cancelled. So this one will be 2. Okay, and I want to move this minus 2 to the left hand side. Okay, we will get 2 minus 1, so I will have 1. And then let's move this j8 over 12 also to the left hand side, minus j8 plus, divided by 12. And then plus j, and then 20, angle of minus 90 degrees, divided by 6. And let's factor out the z. So I will have z. And this one will be 1 over 12 and then minus 1 over j4. So we can finally isolate that z. Okay. Now what, what can we do next is just z is equal to this number here. 1 minus j8 divided by 12 plus j and then 20 
angle of minus 90 degrees divided by 6. And then divided by this number here, which is 1 over 12 minus 1 over J4. Wow, that's quite complicated, but we are getting there. It's almost there. Don't worry. So we will get this number. Let's prepare the calculator to be a complex number calculator. And let's prepare this fraction. So I will have 1 minus the fraction. This is 8i divided by 12. And then plus. This one should be i multiplied by 20. And the angle will be minus 90. And this one will be divided by 6. And for the denominator, I will have 1 over 12 minus 1 over 4i. Hopefully, I did not, I do not get stack error from here. Okay, wow, that's nice. And I get 2.8. 2.8. Two point eight minus sixteen point four minus sixteen point four J and the unit here will be ohm and that is the value of Z that we are looking for. Is it correct? I don't know because I think the the answer is different from the book. But yeah, that's close enough actually. 2.8 minus j 16.4 maybe this has rounding error i don't know so this is our answer yeah it's quite close but not exact but i think that's just the rounding error from the book and we get the answer correct so hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation and see you in the next video bye bye